Michelle Stewart. Today's lesson is about how to hold the boron tipper. But before we get started, I just want to give one little word of advice and take everything that you read and all the videos you watch, including mine, take it all with a grain of salt, especially when it comes to holding the stick because it is really important that you pick a grip that's going to be comfortable for you. So without further ado, I will jump into two of the very common styles of holding the stick. The first one I call the curved wrist because I prefer the more descriptive terms rather than regional styles. We can get into that in another video. But if I said we're going to play the Kerry or the West Limerick or Roscommon styles, that really would be kind of like Greek to a beginner. So the way that I hold my stick, I call it the curved wrist because it might, you can see the curve in my wrist. So imagine that you were going to very loosely shake someone's hand. You're going to take the stick at around the halfway mark and put it in the little crevice between the thumb and the index finger about the halfway mark and then wrap your index finger over the top and your thumb lay it on top and then rest the stick on that little uh, in between the two knuckles of your middle finger and just kind of loosely hug it. Now when I first started I think my fingers were quite kind of bent up like this and my thumb was bent up but as I started uh, to I was really trying to master triplets I think at one point and my knuckles were getting in the way and I think that's how my my grip evolved into a more elongated finger type of grip and so um, that's the way that I hold my stick. This particular style I play with the side of the tipper on the skin and this this grip requires that you have to bend your wrist quite a bit and so if you have arthritis or any kind of medical conditions this might not be the ideal grip for you but this method is kind of like shaking water off your hand. Now how do you know if you're holding the stick tight enough? Well if you take your other hand and you try to slide the stick up and down and you can move the stick you're not holding it tight enough. So a little bit of a firm grip but not a death grip. Okay so that's called the curved wrist. The next uh, the next grip that I'm going to cover is what I call the straight wrist and it's basically just holding the around the middle of the stick between the thumb and the first crease of the index finger. Rest it probably around uh, the fingernail of the middle finger or just up to the first knuckle, wherever is comfortable for you. Some people might put two fingers over the top. Okay, and that is again still playing with the side of the, of the stick but it's more of a, a straight wrist, kind of like turning a key in a lock rather than shaking water off your hand like the curve. So those are two of the very popular uh, ways of holding the stick. Again, lots of other ways, but if I give you too many choices to get started with, it will confuse you. So I'd say give it three days and by the third day you will know which grip is comfortable for you. It's kind of like love, you will just know. Okay, so good luck with that and I'll see you in the next video.